The question is, in managing a crisis, whether you have to be a leader like a law-abiding Ram or a law-breaking Krishna? Very interesting. No, uh, no it's, it's actually, I know it's a trick question you're asking me, uh, but you should know that they are the same people, actually. You know, uh, Ram is uh, an incarnation and so is Krishna. Okay. And these, uh, these kind of situations are created in mythology to actually establish a very simple idea. And that simple idea, pay attention to what I'm going to tell you, is the truth will always present itself in contradictions. The truth will always present itself in contradictions. So you have a choice. That choice is to either get lost in the contradiction or follow the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is a very simple thing. You are in your bed. Your spouse is fast asleep. The lights are off. You close your eyelid and you listen to your inner conscience. It will tell you exactly what to do. You don't need a lawyer for that. You don't need a Supreme Court judgment for that. You don't need counsel for that. The truth is inside of us all the time speaking to us. And this kind of maya is created around us to basically say, oh, you know what? Sri Krishna actually fooled around with 16,000 women and I can do the same thing. Uh, well, it will be actually, uh, it will be, it will amount to, uh, you know, um, unwanted advance and uh, you know Im 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 improper behavior and you will create gender uproar. You can't say Krishna did it, so I will also do it. So these kinds of things, you know, metaphors, situations, difficult contradictions that are placed in the mythology is basically to push us to deeper questioning. And uh, we don't need to be swayed. But always remember that uh, the truth will present itself in contradictions and it is inside of me. The lights are out. Let me pause, take a deep breath, and I'll exactly know that in Krishna, Rama is actually speaking. And in Rama, Krishna is speaking. They're one and the same things. Uh, you answered the more very difficult question, I think, in the best possible way. That's why you are such a pro prolific writer.